begin tonight with now former Representative George Santos expelled from Congress. The vote was bipartisan and an historic one. Santos becoming only the sixth person ever to be kicked out of the House of Representatives. Already, his congressional office has been stripped of his name. This afternoon, a worker removed the sign, replacing it with one that reads Office of the Third Congressional District of New York. We do have team coverage tonight breaking down what's next and reaction from constituents. But first, let's get to CBS 2's Lisa Rosner. She's live in Washington, D.C. She's been covering this for us there all week. Lisa. Well, Alice and Maurice, lawmakers that I spoke with immediately after the vote told me they now feel a sense of relief. They far exceeded the two-thirds majority needed to make this a reality. But New York Republican lawmakers say this is not a victory. They say this needed to be done to restore the integrity of Congress. On this vote, the yeas are 311, the nays are 114, with two recorded as present. The moment George Santos went from congressman to the sixth member of the House to be expelled, he shook some colleagues' hands and walked out past a crush of media. Mr. Santos, constituents. He was silent, but his Long Island constituents who traveled to see it are not. We took the trash out today. Leave it there. The moment when it happened, we just were elated. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, everything that we've been fighting for, you know, finally it happened. Calls for the 35 year old to resign began late last year after constituents learned he fabricated his life story. Two weeks ago, a scathing ethics committee investigation found he defrauded campaign donors, prompting more lawmakers to call on Santos to step down. I feel that there was certainly enough. Uh, the bottom line here is they produced the receipts. All New York Republican representatives, except two from upstate, voted to expel him. Are you relieved? Yeah, there's some relief that goes into it, but we know we have a lot of work to do. It's a sad day. It's a sad day for this institution. It should have never come to this. Santos had every single opportunity to hold himself accountable. It wasn't about seeing George Santos walk out the door uh, so much as it was about restoring integrity to the institution. You had a guilty plea of his treasurer. You had a guilty plea of a former campaign staffer. And you had an ethics report that was damning. Santos still has not made any comment, but right before the expulsion vote, he did tell us this. I'm 35 years old. I have a lot of life left to live, and I can't live off the shadows of mistakes I made. And, you know, uh, if I could do it different, I would have definitely separated myself from other, from some people, would have not gotten involved with certain people. But, you know, I, this is part of, I guess, God's plan. Now, last night, Santos told me that he wants to stay involved in public policy. The locks to his office have been changed, but his staff remains continuing to work for the constituents. I did speak with one of those staffers, as well as the Republican chair of the House Ethics Committee. You'll hear from both of them coming up at 6. Right now, we are live in Washington, D.C. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Okay, Lisa, thank you so much for your reporting on this all week.